I'm a biological woman that medically transitioned to appear like a male through synthetic hormones and surgery. I will never be a man. Is it transphobic for me to tell the truth? Why is it then a couple hundred years from now, if you dug up my body, they're gonna go, yep, that was a woman, had babies. Can you tell me about the procedures that you, you had? I've had seven surgeries. I've had one stress heart attack. I've had a helicopter life ride uh, with a pulmonary embolism. I've had uh, 17 rounds of antibiotics. I had six inches of hair on the inside of my urethra for 17 months. Nobody would help me, including the doctor that did this to me because I lost my insurance. I get infections every three to four months. I'm probably not gonna live very long. Was there any real discussion of the risks and the side effects and? No. No, there's not. And I know that people want to think that there is, but there's not. The truth is, is that medical transition is experimental. We have um, studies that said that medical transition helps mental health, helps mental health with kids. They've all been retracted, modified, changed. But the only long-term study tells us seven to 10 years is when transgender people are the most suicidal. After? After surgery. But that's transphobic to say. For the first time in history, a marginalized group has a huge dollar sign on the top of their head. We have five children's hospitals in the United States promoting that. What? That's a phalloplasty. That's a bottom surgery. We have five children's hospitals in the United States telling girls that they can be boys at $70,000 a pop in a surgery that has a 67% complication rate. That will kill me from infection that I can't sue on. We're butchering a generation of children because nobody's willing to talk about anything. I have three kids at the age that they're doing this to kids. I'm not transphobic. I love my kids, and I love other people's kids, and you should too. This is wrong on so many levels. Can kids consent? Do you think kids are no. capable of consenting to this? No, kids? they're not. Being a parent is loving the hell out of your kids and helping them see around corners.